Hi there! Welcome to Wise Wonders Kitchen Edition. In this series, we're going to be using only common household items to do some awesome STEM activities. My name is Claire, and today we're going to be making water walk to learn about capillary action. A lot of us know that plants get their water from their roots, but have you ever wondered how water travels up against gravity and doesn't just fall back to the ground? Well, it's actually a really awesome force called capillary action. More specifically, capillary action can occur because of three special properties of water. Cohesion, adhesion, and surface tension. Just like how co-pilots or co-captains stick together, water molecules stick to each other too. That property of water is called cohesion. Water also exhibits adhesion, which means it can stick to things besides just other water molecules, like the windows of your car or even the inside of a plant root. Finally, water also exhibits surface tension, and that means that the top layer of water molecules sticks together most tightly. Because water can stick to itself, can stick to other objects, and is most tightly bound at the surface, it can actually defy gravity and move up through a process called capillary action. Let's do an experiment together and make water walk to demonstrate capillary action at home. The materials that you'll need today are six clear glasses, three different colors of food coloring, six paper towels, and a pitcher or so of water. The first thing you wanna do is put all of your glasses in a circle like this, and then you're gonna fill up every other glass with water about three-fourths of the way full. Next, you're gonna add a different color of food coloring to each of the glasses that you just filled with water. A pro tip is the more food coloring you add to each cup, the better your experiment is gonna work. Now we're gonna take one of our paper towels, lay it down in front of us, and start rolling it into a tube as tight as we can. It should look something like this, and you're gonna repeat that step for the rest of your paper towels. Next, you're gonna take your paper towels and place them between each of your cups so half of the paper towel is submerged in water and the other half is in the empty cup. Check out and look what's happening to your paper towels. Can you see your water starting to walk? Let's check in in our experiment in about 20 minutes and see what's changed. Wow, look how much our water moved in the last 20 minutes. Science is so awesome. Now let's take a minute to review why this happened. So we know that the water molecules could stick to each other, and we know that water molecules can stick to our paper towels. So the water molecules that started climbing up the paper towel took their other water molecule friends up with them. And slowly but surely, our colored water started to move from cup to cup. Now, next time you see a healthy green plant in nature, you can tell your friends how they get their water through capillary action. Thanks for experimenting and learning about capillary action with me today. Join us next time for more at-home science experiments.